Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we're doing lesson 7.2 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. 7.2 is called Write Fractions as Sums. In other words, um, you may hear this as decomposing fractions. Um, and this is actually a pretty easy lesson too. You're just breaking down a fraction. So let's just go ahead and get into it. It says Emilio cut a sandwich into eight equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he ate one of those pieces. So that's why this piece right here is missing. He has seven eighths of the sandwich left. Emilio put each remaining piece on a snack plate. So each of those pieces gets their own plate. How many snack plates did he have to use? Well, if there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pieces left, he's going to have to use seven plates if they each get their own plate. What part of the sandwich did he put on each plate? He put one eighth on each plate for seven plates. So it says here, each piece of sandwich is one eighth of the whole. One eighth is called a unit fraction because it tells the part of the whole that one piece represents. So whenever you hear that word unit fraction, you're going to have a one on the numerator. The denominators may change depending on how many um, pieces of the whole you have, but the numerator will always be one when you hear unit fraction. A unit fraction always has a numerator of one. So we're writing 7 eighths as a sum of unit fractions. So we have to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them to equal up to 7 eighths. So in other words, you're just breaking down the 7 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus 1 all the way till you get to 7. So Emilio used 7 plates and he put 1 eighth of a sandwich on each plate. Okay, so it says, well, what if Emilio ate 3 pieces of the sandwich instead of 1 piece? So he ate this piece, he ate this piece, and he ate this piece, which means only these pieces are left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, five pieces left. So he would have left five out of the original eight. How many snack plates would he need then? He'd need five snack plates. And what part of the sandwich would be on each plate? One eighth. So if I was to decompose five eighths into a sum of unit fractions, I'd have to say one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. plus one eighth, that's four, and then plus another one eighth, so that I had one, two, three, four, five of them. So five eighths written as a sum of unit fractions would be one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. So basically what you're doing in this lesson 7.2 is they're going to give you a fraction and they're going to want you to decompose it into a sum of unit fractions. So it could be any number. It could be any number in the numerator and the denominator. And what you're going to do is the denominator will stay the same and you're going to break up this numerator into ones. So I would need five ones. So I'd have to write this five times. Three, four, five. So again, here's another example. If I had three fourths and I was breaking it up into a sum of unit fractions, the fourths would stay the same on the bottom no matter what, and I'm just going to break up this three into sums of one. So that would be one plus one plus one. And that is the lesson for today. Pretty easy. All we're doing is breaking apart fractions and writing them as, as sums of unit fractions. All right, if you're in my class, the password is Minnie Mouse, and you should have filled out page 271 in your big math book. And if you have any questions, just leave me a message. Thanks.